Namaste. My name is Sandeep Sulanki. Today we are going to learn Bhastri Ka Pranayama. Bhastri Ka, also called as Bellow Breathing. If you see Bhastri Ka, it's, it's, it's a bellow which usually a blacksmith use. It's like a airbag which is used to pump from which a pressure of the air gets exerted towards a fire and that's how some instruments along with the iron can be made. This particular practice is where the breath is used forcefully and it's a deep breathing, it's a forceful breathing. People who have problems related to any ailments with the internal organs of the abdomen like spleen or kidney or intestine or pancreas they should take a little care when they do this those who have heart ailment problem they should also avoid it those who have hypertension they should avoid it during pregnancy during menstrual cycle it should be avoided and now if you see the benefits of this asana this allows the respiratory system to improve also, it improves the immunity. It is also very good to reduce fat. Because when we do this, the metabolic rate increases. So burning becomes faster. At the same time, when you do this practice, it allows you to become, to feel lighter actually. If you see the nostril, when you do this practice, the nasal passage becomes clearer. So cold and allergy related issues can also get a little sorted out. It is very good for digestive related issues, indigestion or when the appetite is weak. This particular practice can help to improve your appetite. Now let's understand the technique of this Bhastrika Pranayama. The movement that happens here is rapid, is forceful and it's a deep breathing which will happen more from the chest. So when you breathe in, you breathe in forcefully, expanding the chest and when you breathe out, you breathe out forcefully. This is how you will continue, initially with a little slower pace. Later on, you can increase the speed. Now why I am why I'm saying so? Because a lot of time when people start increasing their speed right in the beginning, the movement after some point of time will go haywire. When they inhale, the chest instead of lifting will collapse and when they exhale, instead of chest collapsing, it will lift. So it's better to, in, to do it first slowly and later on they can increase the pace. First will be to do it 10 strokes slowly. Some people also what they do is they initially start slow, then they increase the space, then they again reduce the pace and then they stop. This is also one of the way of doing Bhastrika. The another way that few school of yoga do is they do with the movement of the hand. When they inhale, they move the hand up and when they exhale, they forcefully bring the hand down and exhale. This is also one of the way to do it. But we are going to keep both the palms on the knees in Jnana Mudra and then we will do Bhastrika where we are using the chest quick, rapid, forceful, deep breathing from the chest. So like this. This is how you can do. I did about 9 to 10 strokes. And when you do it, you can do about 10 rounds, 10 strokes, 3 rounds. And then with practice, you can increase the number of strokes from 10 to 15, 15 to 20. Maybe you can go easily to 40. Don't overdo it. Because a lot of time when you do this too forcefully and for too long period of time, you might start feeling dizzy or giddy. And if you feel like that while performing, just lie down on the back, let the breath stabilize, let you become a little calmer. Once you feel a little okay, then you again sit and you can start. So don't overdo this practice. Remember, I did 10 strokes. You can do 3 rounds of 10 strokes to begin with. Remember, 
also one thing that it's okay to initially start with slow then to go very fast because when you do very fast it may also sometimes look like this and some movement can go haywire so it's better to start slowly and gently let the pace let the rhythm get right and later on with practice improve the speed basvika or bellow breathing can help you to clean the respiratory tract very beautifully if you do this practice your whole respiratory system will get purified flesh oxygen will set in more air will set in more energy will set in at the same time so do this practice carefully and enjoy the practice thank you for watching the video if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions any queries related to this video feel free to write to us we will revert back to you thank you namaste